I'm the Genius Asian. Welcome to the Genius Family. Today, I'm going to show you how to DIY face masks, if masks are sold out in the store, and how to make a mask secure if you only have a cheap one. These are napkins, and these are rubber bands. I unfold the napkin, then lay the first rubber band loop here as the bottom strap, then lay the second rubber band loop here as the top strap. Pull the bottom strap over your head and place it on the back of your neck. Pull the top strap over your head. It is done in 10 seconds. An N95 mask can filter at least 95% of airborne particles if you wear it correctly. A surgical mask, or the DIY one we just showed you, do not effectively filter small particles from the air and do not prevent leakage around the edge of the mask when the user inhales. Since surgical masks are not designed to pass a fit test, we should at least try to make the mask fit if we don't have access to an N95 mask. If you only have cheap masks, the biggest problem is that they may not fit well and there will be leakage around the edge of the mask. Even though these ear loops are made of elastic material, they usually are not adjustable for the cheap masks. I use a couple of rubber bands to make it more secure. Some face masks have a stiff metal strip along the top edge because there could be gaps around your nose. So you mold the strip to the bridge of the nose to eliminate gaps. Usually the colored side of the mask faces outward with a metallic strip at the top. If you don't have this strip or you are still worried this strip may not be secure enough at all times, there are other ways to reinforce. One is to use wires to reinforce so that there will never be gaps. I make a loop first. I bend the wire to fit my face. Attach rubber bands to the wire. You can place the wire outside of your mask to eliminate the gaps. You can additionally use another napkin to wrap it so that the wire is not exposed and it is less visible. Now we have a more secure double protection. Although this is not as good as an N95 mask, I feel it may be better than wearing a single loose surgical mask. Currently, even the surgical masks are sold out, so I will use a napkin to make a mask. It is better than nothing. If you can wear goggles, you are protected a few percent more. The N95 is a rating that means the mask blocks about 95% of particles that are 0.3 microns in size or larger. A human hair is 50 microns. There are a couple of simple tests you can do to compare the effectiveness of different materials you have at home. See, these surgical masks block light this much. The napkins also block some light. This is a paper towel. It is more porous than the napkin. This is a cotton mask, pretty porous as well. Another method is to see the extent to which they are a barrier against water. If you pour water on the material, you can see these surgical masks don't leak any water. The napkins also hold water, at least for a little bit. The paper towel leaks water right away. The cotton mask leaks. The cotton towel also leaks. We propose these minimal testing methods not because they are rigorous, but because it is important to understand the effectiveness. Having an unrealistic sense of security by wearing a mask when it doesn't fit well, or being unaware of the level of effectiveness, is also dangerous because you might then overexpose yourself to whatever it is you are trying to avoid. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the Genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.